Yo, what is happening, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back once again to another video about the first descendant. So today, guys, I'm going to be talking about how, well, what is kind of the most convenient way to level up? Um, is it the fastest? I don't know, but it's definitely the most convenient, the most easy way to level up fast, if that makes sense. So basically, once you're in Albion, you're spawning, you want to run across to this one, the Special Operations Terminal. There's several of these to do. I've, I've actually tried doing them all, um, and I think just that some are better than the others. I personally prefer the... Oh, wrong one. I personally prefer the sterile land, um, the block cupida mining mission. The only reason I say this is because normally you get to six and you've already leveled up. Um, if you are with a good fire team or whatever you want to call squad, you can probably get to eight... You're not really going to be able to get to 10 and so on um, just because this is for early game. The, this is for people who are having you know problems defeating some of the Colossi early on in the game. When I mean early on, at the moment, at this moment of me doing this video, I'm actually struggling to do the um, Devourer just because of the system of where you think you're doing really well. He hammers his fist down into the ground. He creates four green orbs. You can't shoot them from far away. You actually have to run in close leather them but unfortunately by the time you've leathered them um he's fully healed back again so i kind of need to level up my character i've been messing around trying different things and this is kind of the mission which i think is the best one the best bang for your buck i've not really researched it in infinite detail you know getting my calculator out i'm just doing it based on how i've felt well what i've kind of found myself um, maybe somebody's already done this video on the internet i don't know but basically, the best mission, I think, for leveling up fast is the Sterile Land Cupida Mine um, Blockade. So we're going to start this mission, and we're just going to talk about it, you know, while we're going through it. Hopefully, you get a good team, so you can do it quickly. A lot of times, I'll actually go into these missions, and there'll be three of them doing, I don't know, point A. I'll be doing point B on myself, and I actually clear point B quicker than what three of them can clear point B. Um, which is weird. We're seeing a lot of Freyas around now. Um, at least it's better than everybody being bunny. Um, I'm just going to quickly talk about my module setup. Um, I've got water play. The reason why I'm using Volby is because I've got water play. If you don't know, when you level these up, guys, um, it actually gives you um, more module capacity. But I'm running Maximize Skill um, and Strong Mentality. They're my kind of two big things. Our skill expansion as well. So I've got a huge range. Um... I've got huge range, power, and cooldown is slightly better as well. Which is great for Volby because ultimately you want to use your abilities, stay in the water. I will do a Volby guide at some point. I do enjoy playing her. You don't really need to even care about messing around at this point. So again, it's kind of a good thing with Volby because you've got a CC and it does kind of actually work on a lot of high level bosses as well. Which is um, great. And the thing is with a Thunder Gun, it does electric damage as well. And that synergizes great with the water because it actually gives me 20% more damage. So we've just leveled up as soon as we've come in. I must have been um, you know, towards the um, top end of leveling up there. But again, Volby's pretty straightforward to play. You just want to keep as much water on the ground as possible. It does tick damage over time on the enemies. And if you're using your abilities while he's stood in the build... If you stood, if you use your abilities while you're stood in the water yourself, it actually reduces the um, the um, MP cost for your abilities, which is great. You can kind of keep doing them without, you know, even being too concerned um, about running running your um, magic power down. So we're gonna go on B. Where's my team going? My team's going A, and we're gonna just try to get as much water down as we can. You know, we can actually clear pretty quickly. Um, probably not as quick as Bunny because she's got great AoE damage. And plus, guys, we're only level 30 with this Descendant, not level um, not level 40 yet. So, oh, I've pressed Z by accident, you moron. I'm trying to do a guide for a video and I'm pressing the wrong frigging buttons. But yeah, you ultimately want to get as much water down as you can. You want that tick damage going well. Oh, there's a modifier up there. I need to get that. What's this going to give us? Okay, we've actually... 
That's it. Just keep the water down, guys. Nice tick damage. We've not even got Volby to level 40 yet. When we get her to level 40, she's going to do huge damage. Well, the first few rounds on here, it's not really difficult. You can pretty much just instantly kill this enemy. Or well, this boss, if you want to call it a boss. It doesn't really deserve to be called a boss. And there you go. It's pretty much, you know, wrecked instantly. So if you don't really know how these, these work, the better off you do, the higher up you get, the better chance rewards get of the smaller items. Well, of all items. But again, you just keep playing it until you die. Ultimately, you don't want to take anything. You just want to keep going. Eight loads of water here, which is great. We've got a bunny as well, so it amplifies her damage by 20% as well. And 20% thunder gun damage, which is great. Get as much water down as possible, because if I use my ultimate, the problem is you can't actually jump with this much water down as possible. Okay, we've actually killed everything, which is annoying. I kind of prefer it if people split up and do two at a time. You, you, you just get it done quicker. Especially on the low levels. When you get the higher levels... You kind of need to stick together a bit. But for these levels, it's just a waste of time. So I want to get as much water down as possible. We're only low levels, so we kill everything anyway. At these rounds. The tick damage doesn't really get much time to do anything. But again, you know, the mob density is really, really good. It's, it's not difficult at all. Alright, let me go to B on my own. There's my AoE damage. It doesn't matter if there's one of us or three of us here. To get this in as soon as. I want to go around in a circle. There we go. I've already leveled up again, guys. So... You've seen in this video, we've not even been playing that long and we're already leveling up. Oh, they're just outside of the water zone. Again, we're doing great tick damage. Got to be a bit careful here. If we press our V to glide through the water, that gives us 50... We take 50% less damage. So it's kind of a good thing when you're low on health. It's also good to do this as well. Shoot the balls, which... Everybody knowing this video probably understand the mechanics now of the bosses. There we go, so... It's normally straightforward to get to 6, and then 6 to 8 just depends if you've got a good squad or not, and then 8 to 10 you're going to struggle at this part of the game. Again, this is the quickest way to level up, in my opinion. See, look, things taking a bit more hammer now. Yeah, this is the quickest way to level up early game. Obviously, once you get on hard difficulty, this will become... Well, to be fair, you'll be able to do this on hard difficulty as well, so it's probably still going to be viable. So, a lot of things in water damage now. It's a bit hectic around about this time. But again, I'm going to practice what I've been telling you. Just keep as much water down as possible. Keep doing that tick damage. Get that nice big tick damage. And again, this, my Q ability had normally bounce do four bounces, but because I've got the 1% um, module drop, the transistance one, um, it actually goes out in a rectangle, so, you know, that makes Volby so much better. Oh, 
We're going to go down here on our own. We don't mind doing it on our own. As much water down as possible. We'll go around with V. And then, once this V finishes, we're going to use our ultimate or whatever you call it. Anything with water or laundry or whatever you want to call it will get sucked towards the bubbles. Don't look like there's that much actually affected by water. That surprised me. Okay. Those with the shields, you can knock them down. Bit of a CC, which is good for Volby. Keep doing water damage. That's all we want to do. We nearly got down there, guys, but we managed it. Okay, we need to try to find some red heels. Oh, there we go, one there. Is there any more? There's got to be some over here where they've just killed loads of stuff. I kind of want to stay with my team now. Because, again, the more of us there is... Enemies are going to focus on um, different people. This is sometimes where you can die. This is not a give me. There we go. Leveled up again, guys. So, got to be a bit careful now. You can't just run around in front of everything anymore. Bad use of our ultimate there, if I'm being honest. Somebody's down on my team. This is kind of normally where we get. And it starts becoming a bit more difficult. I cannot res that person. I will die myself. We're going for it. Shit, too late. My bad. But we've still got seven deaths left. Plenty of time. Okay, lagging. Brilliant. By the time I get down to where my shields are going to be healed anyway. But this is pretty much, yeah, as far as, far as we're going to get. We're, I, I can tell we're already struggling as a team. Which is fine, you know, we're not really that high leveled yet. Drop down here, we want to... It leaves a pull as soon as we spawn in and out of the dive. Okay, we're going to try to get all this tick damage down immediately. Loads of nice tick damage. Then we're going to run over here. There we go. I've done it a bit better this time. Better than last time. At least I've been able to show you a good example instead of me messing up. 50% less damage again with this ability. Bit of a shame we've got no bunnies this time. Oh, we have got a bunny. She's just not playing her brilliantly. Or maybe she is. Maybe she is, actually. Maybe I was a bit too critical. Okay, lag brilliant. Thanks, game. Okay, we should actually do this. Nice. We actually did that really quickly. Could do we a golden box dropping on the floor, which if you don't know what golden box is, it gives you modifiers in these missions, like 30% more damage, healing, there's all sorts of things. You can't even get up there, Jesus. Okay, we need to get this down. We normally go to the bike there. Oh, great. Okay, that worked well, didn't it? The game's proper messed up there. Yeah, 
Yeah, not the best ultimate this time, Simon. Unfortunately, you can't jump while you're in this state. You can only glide. Okay, more lag. Brilliant. Exactly what I want to see. It's not my system. It'll be the game. It'll be the server. Oh, need to be careful. Okay, this should be um, pretty much done with now. And there we go, guys. We've only got gold, which is rubbish, but there's no point in carrying on there. I think everybody knows that we are not doing another two rounds of that. So, yeah, guys, that is pretty much um, the fastest way to level up um, for an average player who's not on hard difficulty. If you're on hard difficulty, you're still going to do this, to be fair. You're just going to be doing the same thing, but on harder difficulty. Um which will obviously scale up and give you more experience and everything. So, yeah, thank you, everybody, for watching. If you've enjoyed this video, if you want to see more First Descendant, um, please leave a like, subscribe, and, yeah, thank you for watching. Cheerio. Have a great week. Bye-bye.